Hello friends, hello, and welcome back to a little bonus card draw for the channel today. I don't put these up on the podcast, just on YouTube, but each little escape that I've made here comes up in relation to what the energy of the card draw is all about. So here we have the Santana candle. So today's topic is what happiness is coming your way in the next 30 days. We have our little cat familiar smudge there. Just showing you around the space. We have the Oklahoma Rose. It's a very special friend of mine. We have where are you? <laughs> we have Labyrinth of Dragonshire, and then we've got Happy Cloud, the You Are Loved deck, the TLC for the Soul deck wanting to come out. The other thing that wanted to be here was the Mother Mary stone. I found that when I was walking one day. The Rattle specifically wants to be mentioned. We obviously have my friends, the trees. We have these guys, my little Buddha guys. And we have the happy, the smile stone, which is another stone I found when I was walking. It's kind of like a pink granite kind of a stone. All right, so we're gonna lay out some cards and then we'll just do kind of what's guided here. So I'm gonna start with Happy Cloud. I kind of like the way I just, I'm gonna like throw them all out here. I'm going to lay out You Are Loved. Lay out TLC for the soul. And let's just see, okay, and this little Buddha guy. So Peace is obviously coming up because we knocked him over. So I'm just gonna put him over there. And then let's just see. So these two wanna come out. Fog, and you don't have all, the, oh wait, fog, you don't have all the answers yet. And grumpy, clear your energy. Hmm. Let's see what wants to come out of here. We have World Traveler. So this is the World card in the tarot and this is the Magician card in the tarot, the Major Arcana. And we have, ah, huh, there's the Peace card, look. We have Miracles and Peace coming out. So, we said what happiness is coming in the next 30 days, but that's not very definitive spirit. So we don't have all the answers yet. Um, we're gonna have to clear our energy to get more answers. What do you mean by that? <laughs> we have the world card, so things are changing. We do have the solstice coming up. Um, this weekend, there is a whole slew of planetary aspects going on. And we will talk about them more in the podcast later this week about how that's all, it's, they're all happening within like two or three days of each other. We have like the solstice, we have, um, oh gosh, forget it. I won't, try, I won't remember it off the top of my head. We have the magician. So you're creating some of these miracles yourself, but in order, this kind of goes together, in order to get a better idea of what's coming your way, you have to come to a space where you can kind of hear the answers. So it sounds like it's internal and external things, but before we just do that, we're gonna do like a little pick a pile. So, cause I think there's messages for each one of you. So let's move these up here. The peace card, we'll move that right there, that right there, that right there. And then we're going to put this card and I'm just digging around here and this card and we're going to grab a card from over here. We're going to put that, that's pile one. 
And then we're gonna put this card and this card and this card and that's pile two. And then we'll put this praying Buddha here and this like, oh yeah, Buddha right there. <laughs> So now pick your pile. Do you want pile one or pile two? Or you may want both piles. So let's start with pile one, this like praying Buddha. And let's see what we got. We got You Rock, Take a Bow, Wisdom Guide, and Freedom. And that's the number 11 card and prayer on top of all these other ones that we already got with the world and clear your energy and the magician. So you are being, obviously, as appears here, you are being led to the answer of what's, what's coming for you, what happiness is coming for you. But it's a result of a lot of hard work that you've done. And I think it's work you've done to work with your own energy. Like, yeah, you don't have all the answers yet, but you just decided to start moving forward anyway. You, you have been working on yourself. You've been trying to stay peaceful. You've been working on your, your meditation practice or going within. They're saying you've been getting out in nature. So you could have been coming over here. You could have been going here to the woods. <laughs> but the big thing that's coming for you is a sense of feeling like you are standing within your own power again. Like you're able to do what needs to be done to just stand strong. And these freedom codes have to do with the July 4th time frame. So there's something coming through for you with the freedom codes that come through every year around Independence. I know it's not Independence Day necessarily everywhere, but there's freedom codes that start with the solstice and kind of end with the 8-8 gateway. And specifically for you coming in around that beginning of July timeframe that are going to lead you to the next steps that you need to take. So right now it almost seems like you're in a place of just trying to be receptive to what's coming in next. Like some because you don't have all the answers yet and spirit just kind of wants to surprise you with what is coming through but it has to do with transformation it has to do too with you like taking a leadership role taking some more responsibility on and helping others along the path so if that means you're you know starting your own channel or you're um, sharing your teachings or what you've learned somehow then that's what's coming in for you is the ability to feel like i'm free to make my own choices I can make my own magic by setting intentions. And what's happening is the world is turning in your favor, meaning that you're, you'll be coming out of this kind of period of maybe not knowing so much what to do, which was what all these retrogrades were about, like going within and all that. And you'll be moving into more of a space of like, I know exactly what I need to do next. And I can choose whatever that is because I'm the magician. I'm the maker of my own. I'm the magic maker of my own reality. And if I want to do something a certain way, then I just am free to do that. So that's the messages that are coming through for pile one. So if you chose pile two, we're going to move this guy out of the way. We're going to flip over your cards. <laughs> what did you get? Oh, you got heartfelt decision maker. You got expand, you are upgrading, and you got, oh, it's upside down. Okay, do I want to read the reversal in this? This looks like, nah, I don't like that. This looks like, thumbs. okay, it's a thumbs down. So what does this mean? So if you chose pile two, what happiness is coming for you is you're going to start to realize as, as the solstice comes up, um, you're staying in your power and all that, you're being at peace, but you're going to start to realize like you're the one that's in charge of your own reality. And the reason you're going to understand that more is because of all this ascension stuff you're going through right now, um, it's all going to be worth it in the end. It may feel like a little bit weird. They want me to pull another card for you. So I'm just going to reach in here. Yeah. 
Okay, so you got the karma card. So you're clearing a lot of basically stuff from the past, um, stuff that was kind of holding you back and stuff that wasn't good for you. Hence this no, these kind of go together. So stuff that wasn't good for you. And now you're realizing like, hey, I can do what I want to do. Um, this is kind of the justice card, but I did it kind of like Ma'at or the um, Egyptian um, deity that when you pass, it put a feather and weigh, kind of weigh out the heart in terms of the, the heart being light enough to go on to a particular realm after the soul passes on or after the body, actually after the body passes, the soul never really passes on, but this is like you make your own decisions and you kind of weigh them out. So which feels better to me? Does it does it feel lighter and happier, this, this decision over here or this choice or whatever? Or is it this one over here? And you're being asked to choose the one that feels over here, lighter and better to your heart. And you're going to get better at understanding what that is and how to work with that. As you go through all these upgrades that are happening with the solstice, we've got a is it a Capricorn full moon coming up. We have um, some other astrological alignments with um, Jupiter and Saturn. And so you're going to be better able to discern like, no, this is like maybe a karmic relationship that was here to teach me something and now it no longer thumbs down resides with me so I want to do what feels right to me and maybe I need to let that relationship go or that job go or that place go or that situation go um and it's just because you're coming more into your heart space now that you're better able to discern that and better able to do what's right for you and really the two piles do kind of fit together in a sense, especially this freedom code card kind of can come over here from pile one. You're going to have, you're going to feel more freedom. These freedom codes that are coming in, they come through Gaia and they come through the plasma waves of cosmic um, energy that's coming through to help us upgrade. And they hold this energy of the 11, which is a portal. Like you walk through the middle of it, like walking through a portal and each time you do that, each time you jump a timeline, you get better at feeling like there's always enough and that you can just make the best decision that you can make on make based on what your heart wants to get you with where it gets you to where you need to be next. So very non-specific but specific. So it's going to be different for each one of you. You're gonna understand what that means for you and you're going to be able to take matters into your own hands make these decisions based on what you want either helping others or it sounds like this is more like helping others like service work and this is more like releasing that was pile one releasing situations and things from the past um, that no longer serve your highest and best good so thanks so much, you guys, for joining me here for this little mini reading of what happiness is coming your way in the next 30 days. So the next time I see you will be on the podcast tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing yet. I'm still getting ready to receive that information. And um, so I guess it's a wild card and we will see you all again next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.